everyone. I'm Liz Bruner, and we are here at North American Global Summit for Coronet in Boston at the Heinz Convention Center. And my guest today actually has a Coronet New England connection, right? I do. You do indeed. Del Boyette is affiliated with Coronet New England, and you were one of the inaugural board members for Coronet Global. Yes. I was. Fantastic. Great to have you stopping by. You have such a fantastic background, and you have worked in economic development for both Arkansas and Georgia, and advised companies on location strategy for many, many years now. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine there's a host of factors that come into play when somebody is trying to choose to build an operation someplace. Right. Why is it so challenging, though, to find the great talent that you need in order to do that? Well, you know, in economic development, especially in the location strategy and the location mm -hmm. analysis process, it changes, it seems, from year to year as to what the most important factor is. Mm. Uh, but the, the one thing that has been totally 100% consistent the last three years and well into the future is predicted to be is, is workforce. Mm -hmm. And understanding what the needs of the workforce are and understanding what you need to do as a state and a community to ensure that the workforce is going to be there mm -hmm. long term and in the future. You know, I've heard this story years ago at Cornet, and it was a New England chapter Cornet member, Sarah Abrams, that said when they were citing a facility in Jacksonville, she said the one thing that they could do is convince us that our workforce would be there for us for the next 25 years. So being there for the next 25 years, we're dealing with communities today uh, that have an aging workforce. Mm -hmm. And on the economic development side, uh, when you are dealing with a community and the, comp the workforce is aging out, then those existing employers are going to have to replace those mm -hmm. workers. Mm -hmm. So not only for new companies that are looking to invest is the workforce critical, it is also critical for those existing companies that are having to replace that talent as they're aging out. Yeah. I mean, you're from Illinois, right? Well, originally, well, originally, originally a long time originally ago. Originally a long time from <laughs> Illinois, but you think about those the Rust Belt, and you think about those manufacturers and the age of that workforce, they're aging out, they're going to have to be replaced. Yes, they are. When it comes to picking a new location, there's so many factors, competition, incentive programs, jurisdiction. What are the trends going forward and what is essential for um, an organization, a business, to say, hey, this is where I want my company to be? You know, it used to be, and, and even with innovation and, and technology, people will say, well, a company can be anywhere and well, still be is successful. That true? I don't and think still so. be successful. I don't think that's true. Yeah. I, I, I don't think it's true. I think you, you've got to be where the culture is right for your company mm. to succeed long term. Mm -hmm. It used to be that a, a product could be, quote, manufactured in one place and, and you could be anywhere as long as you were close to your market and had access to your markets. But today, I would say it's more, you have to be more intent with being in a location that matches the culture of your company. Mm. You bring up an interesting thought because one of the biggest pending deals, obviously here in Boston, over the Seaport District, is potentially Amazon's second sure headquarters. Is. So with you know, you talk about culture. Sure it is. What what kind of a place does Amazon look for? Do other competitors look for besides the culture? Well, you know, uh, there's all kinds of. Uh, stories as it relates to Amazon and everybody likes to think that they have the inside track as it relates to Amazon. <laughs> well Holly Sears Sullivan who's leading that happens to be a really good friend of mine and I, I love her dearly and she's such a professional and she's doing a great job with that location strategy for mm -hmm. HQ2. But you know even when Holly and, uh, and I have conversations we certainly don't talk about that project you mm, know mm -hmm. and I don't ask about that project and I think people surmising things and insinuating things and making predictions about things that may be fun but it's not right. Mm, mm -hmm. It's not right. Amazon has a very critical decision to make as to mm -hmm. where their next HQ2 where their next headquarters is going to be. And most importantly, the location that they choose has a very critical decision to make as to how they're going to meet their needs long term. Sure. Can they meet their needs long term? Because you can't mess this one up. No, I mean, this it's a big deal. This one has to absolutely be right. It has to be right for Amazon, mm -hmm. and it has to be right for the geography sure. that they end up locating in. It. And it's going to impact the entire Oof region is going to impact multiple states depending on where it locates. 
how much impact do tariffs and trade wars and renegotiating NAFTA, Brexit have on the location decision in well, general? Well, I think that, you know, in, 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 in some states right now and some companies, I mean, I don't really want to talk that much about the tariff issue because it seems like you get, it gets very political right yeah, but now. But on a general specific, I mean, it does have impact. It does. It, yeah. it, totally, it totally has impact. And look at some of the companies in, in the South right now, especially mm -hmm. the European automotive uh, assembly companies that have located here. It's an issue for them right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the states are are typically, quote, red states, and the red <laughs> mm -hmm. states are, are, are basically going up against mm -hmm. uh, the policies of a red administration. So it's, it's something that's causing problems, I think, in the economic development arena, mm -hmm. and, uh, and hopefully those things will be corrected short-term rather than a long-term thing. Well, we appreciate your insights into all of this today, and thanks for coming back to New England for a little bit and kind of connecting with all your Cornet New England folks. We appreciate that. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> it's always good to see you. Good to see Thank you, too. You. And thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon.